Joel chapter 3. Here we have the basis of judgment explained. God says, I will gather all nations and I will execute judgment upon them because of my people Israel, whom they scattered among the nations. They divided my land. They sold a Jewish boy for a prostitute. They sold a Jewish girl for wine, etc. And he goes on talking about this, that the basis upon which the nations will be judged is how they treated God's people. Now, that principle applies to us. Jesus was very clear about this when he said that he will say to people in the last day, when I was hungry, you gave me something to eat. And the righteous will say, no, when did we see you hungry? And he will say, inasmuch as you did it to the least of these my brothers, you did it unto me. And the other way around, he will say to other people, when I was hungry, you didn't feed me. And they'll say, when did we see you hungry? And he'll say again, inasmuch as you didn't feed the least of these my brethren, you did not feed me. You notice he says, the least of my brothers. In other words, it is those people whom you might consider not particularly worthy of your attention, not particularly deserving of your help, grace, forgiveness, material assistance, it is exactly your attitude in those cases which is your attitude to the Lord Jesus. Just as Israel were not at all righteous, and yet God says, yeah, according to how you dealt with my weak people Israel, so you shall be judged. So, as we encounter people, particularly the weak, specifically amongst God's people, the least of these my brothers, as Jesus put it, my brothers, those in my family, your brothers, but you didn't treat them as your brothers, but they're my brothers, that will be the basis of your judgment. This is not to say that judgment is on the basis of works, but it is on the basis of our attitude to the brothers of Jesus brothers and sisters of Jesus. And so as you encounter need, particularly within the people of God, there you have your opportunity to work out the outcome of the judgment that is to come. It is our attitude to the least of the brethren of the Lord Jesus, or the people of God in the Old Testament context, that defines who we really are.